This is a message to Tim Goss and Peter Fisher. Um, it's Rich McLean. I've had cases with AFCAR for over two years and they've been delayed, deferred, denied determinations and they're well overdue for over two years. Um, I live with a brain injury partly because I, uh, it's a conspiracy to defer the course of justice but can I just ask, as a person to person, because you don't know me, Peter or Tim, if you had the power to destroy someone, would you? Because um, collectively, with others, that's what you've done. And now, um, since March 2021, I suffered a fatality. It was called fatal and a... Um, um, lethal injury and further to that you were aware of this and you consciously maliciously delayed deferred denied and and why why was this um thing put in place um that i couldn't contact you or africa directly or you'd drop all my cases worth over a million dollars i was conspiratorial It's clear to me my now that I, I will never get justice with you. However, the determinations still need to be made. And I think as someone with an acquired brain injury, partly sustained by Africa's unwillingness to make the determinations when they knew I was financially desperate and also was hospitalized, and also suicided and also you acted in congruence with HCF which is really a small conspiracy to pervert the course of justice which is of course illegal and that I have been financially desecrated and Afka, Peter Goss and Tim Fisher no Tim Tim Goss and Peter Fisher watched on like the world did as I became bereft of prosperity and since March 21 you would think a suicide survivor having been found accidentally and revived would have health care not the case um, I just wanted to send this to you Peter and Tim because you both personally have the power to um, acknowledge a desperate person who has no money, who can barely feed his dog and or himself, and no medication. I've no petrol to drive anywhere, and I'm squatting. In two weeks' time, I will be rendered a homeless, neutral, infamous vagrant. I ask for your compassion because you guys don't know me. Look at richmclean.com.au. See the amazing bloody work that I've done for 25 plus years that have helped marginalised people. I think that's brave. I know I'm brave and I know I'm courageous. Pawns that are just a stick in the huge faggot of um, oppression that are paid by the government to protect the government party line I don't think those people are very brave. I don't think it's brave of Tim Goss or Peter Fisher to maliciously and via conspiracy um, and a to pervert the course of justice. And further, you well know, as a twice suicide survivor, you act consciously and maliciously to aid and abet my death by my own suicide. And I have been character assassinated. Tim Goss and Peter Fisher, I urge you to make the determinations, make them fast and efficient. You should, it's in within Africa's role that if a person is in financial distress, a determination must be made within four weeks. 
this has been over two years, mate. You've witnessed my demise, both of you, and the powers that be, including the Attorney General, including the NDIS Minister, including many others. And I will not die. I'm not suicidal. I may have a brain injury, but I know it's right, and I know I'm brave, and I know it's utter cowardice to be a sheeple paid by the government to tow the party line in honour to desecrate me and destroy me. And I think that is cowardice. Furthermore, I will hold you to account. Please, if you could um, action my um, determinations as soon as possible, that would be great. Otherwise, your threat to drop all cases worth over one to two million dollars and more when I don't have one cent and only an up and go, a potato and half a carrot in the fridge would be an unholy desecration and victimization of one individual from an organization that has public responsibility and legislative oversight from other agencies. And I will bring that to light. Thank you.